So today, I'm going to be going into Minecraft Alpha to essentially see if some of the Minecraft myths from a year ago. So I'm going to be going into Minecraft, but not the Minecraft that you know and love. Let's go back 10 years and take a look at Minecraft Alpha because that is going to be the version that we're playing. And wasn't that just cool, that little intro that we had there? But ladies and gentlemen, you can see that this version of Minecraft is so old and is so crazy that there isn't really much you can do on this version. But I do have a previous world that I did load. But you can all see that in this version, I wasn't really doing much at all. In Minecraft Alpha, you can not really do much. You can't really like walk around. But that means this version of Minecraft might hold some very scary secrets. So in this version of Minecraft, it's up to us to see if there are any scary Minecraft myths that are still there. Now, allegedly, the last time I was on this world, someone had placed down these blocks. And trust me when I say, guys, it wasn't me because I was only on this world for not that long of a time. So this is going to be really spooky because you can't even type in slash. It's literally just Minecraft Alpha. There's not too much you can do. But at the same time, it provides a more interesting experience because now we know that if there is anything I just saw something. I don't know what I just saw, but there was something over there and I'm going to go in that direction. I don't think I can run either, which is super weird. This is just the weirdest version of the game. I might play a more up-to-date alpha, but I'm not entirely sure if we're going to do that because these mobs do move extremely extraordinary. Okay, so there's a cave down here, but if I do go down the cave, I might get stuck. This version of Minecraft is literally so old that I literally can't even craft. Okay, I'm gonna go down this cave, and if I get stuck, you guys have to um, you guys have to save me. Okay, so I'm gonna just get some dirt. Okay, so I need to be super careful here. I think I just need to jump down. Okay, how do I jump down? Okay, let's jump down here, and then maybe, okay, this cave, is there anything down here? I gotta be super careful, is there? Oh no, okay, there's nothing down here. I thought I was gonna see something, but this is what I'm saying, guys. Like, how would you get out of here? They don't even have tools in this version of Minecraft. It was, how did people even play this version? Okay, so what I might do is I might go to a different version of Alpha, but for the small time I was here, if I did see absolutely anything, I will 100% let you guys know if there was something that was just standing there or if I saw something in the background. And also, guys, let me know if you see anything weird because this is the strangest camera angle and this version is super weird. We truly have to pay attention to everything, okay? I mean, look at how old this version is. Wow. I mean, if anyone is old and they're watching this, you know, video, they're probably going to get some insane Minecraft nostalgia. I didn't even know there was an ice biome, but um, yeah, we had snow. Everything was pretty basic, but um, is there a man in the distance? I don't know, guys. It's so hard to see. Wait, what? I could have sworn I just saw someone over there. I don't know, guys. It's so hard because I can't run. And I can't zoom in. So if there's anyone and you can see that the, I, I don't really have much settings. Oh, wait, is that iron over there? I think there's some ores over there. But how do I craft in this version? Maybe it's a different button. I'm not sure. I'm going to switch versions. But yeah, this is really cool. Okay, so now we're on a more updated version of Minecraft. And you can see that I do have some of these worlds that are here. But they're not going to be able to be loaded because they are on a newer version. I'm going to go ahead and create one. And let's see what we can do here. Because this is such an old version of Minecraft. You guys can see that we do have a little bit more but this is good because now we do have a little bit more of creative freedom to explore but nonetheless things that did i just see something under the water honestly guys this is the most freakiest version because all of the weird stuff that was in minecraft is apparently still here and you guys can see that i still can't switch my camera so if there's ever something here then it must be placed by an alternate entity wow this this really does bring me black. Is there any flint and steel? Okay, there is flint and steel. There is netherrack, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so it's not too bad. I did think it was going to be a lot worse, but it isn't. So, uh, hmm, okay, there's a cave. That's definitely where we're exploring. Although this spawn was pretty bad. Um, in fact, I know for a fact there's no spectator mode. Okay, rather than flying across, what I will do is I will load up another world and see if I can get a seed going. So this is the first time we were ever able to get seeds in Minecraft. And I'm going to try the legendary seed okay because i want to see if this myth is still there because that would be really cool and if it is that's going to be even cooler than many of the other things okay so let's do herobrine here we go and let's see exactly how on earth this is going on whoa i just glitched did you guys see that i just glitched i don't know what was in there but i'm sure i just glitched maybe there was something there but okay there's a pack of wolves over here the herobrine seed is definitely a lot more lively and is that a cross okay that's not a cross i gotta be super careful because 
What's so interesting is that they spawn you with all of these materials. I'm so intrigued, guys. This is a uh, this is like a new exploration because everyone knows about the newest versions of Minecraft, but these old versions, I'm telling you guys, they're always holding some key key things and I think it's important to look around to see where we came from. Okay, so if you don't know what these are, these are basically things which are spawners. So if you ever found these, it was always good because it means there was a chest nearby and usually that meant cookies, which is a super rare item. And this was the only way that you could get moss blocks back in 2013, whenever this version was released. But it was the only way that you could get moss blocks like 100%, which was um, very rare. So if someone saw moss blocks in your world, they were like, whoa. I mean, you could get them in creative, but for those of you who wanted to play in survival, are villages even here? I don't even think villages are here. The villages are vacant. Villages are villages are completely vacant that's weird okay i mean i think there's a i mean i think there's a cave whoa 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 whoa, whoa. did you just spawn in i think this guy just spawned in okay get out of the way buddy okay this guy did he just spawn in yeah there was a spawner oh my god this is how you got saddles okay this guy did just spawn in uh, wait what was this here before guys pay attention please because i don't think that was here before this is the oldest version of mine we are in the herobrine seed and um i don't know this is super weird this is super super weird okay so the reason this is freaking me out is because I can't really do much in this version of Minecraft. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's uh, super duper weird. Um, okay, but we can we can explore these caves. And these caves are definitely quite interesting. So I'm not sure of the Legends of 2013 of Minecraft's oldest myths, but I'm pretty sure that there were some. So yeah, maybe the Herobrine myth is real. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see if I can spawn this Herobrine dude in. Because as you all know, this is the original version in which Herobrine the myth the legend did start so i'm gonna go ahead and then i'm going to uh where should i do this guys can we make it nighttime no i'm gonna have to actually wait for nighttime what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do this right in the snow and then okay that is weird um then i'm gonna make sure that something's there we don't even have villages guys this is so weird i don't know how long it's gonna take to get to nighttime but what i am gonna do is i'm gonna place this around and then oh do we have netherrack yes we do okay i'm gonna place this there then i then i'm gonna place that there okay now if we do see anything it would be kind of interesting but i'm not i'm not entirely sure i can't even see myself do you know what i mean i don't even have a skin i can't really do anything so what I'm, i might do is i might just leave my minecraft on like this to see if there's anything there and if there is something there then yep and if there's not then you know doesn't matter i mean this version of minecraft is super super weird and i've been looking up some articles about all this crazy stuff okay so i don't know if the herobrine one worked or not but what we're gonna try again is we're gonna try another one of minecraft's most notorious myths and this is of course the myth of entity 303 so i'm gonna just go into a new world and of course entity 303 has a bit of a story behind it so entity 303 is one of those really really old ones and what why does the world glitch every time i think i don't know i don't usually have that glitch but Anytime I enter some weird name, Entity 303, and this is the thing, the world generation here definitely seems a little bit weirder than usual. So I'm not entirely sure if Entity 303, how real this is going to be, because although we are in a very strange version of Minecraft, I'm not exactly sure what we might see or what we might find, because the Entity 303, as you know, is largely in multiplayer games, apparently. And Apparently, also, it was on the console edition of Minecraft. So I don't know if that makes it void. I mean, I hope it wouldn't. But at the same time, I do want to explore these caves and see what we have to offer. Because if there is any chance of an Entity 303, I do want to see if I can find it first. Because like I said, guys, we're on one of the oldest versions of Minecraft. And after this version, we're then going to be searching for one last one now i'm not going to tell you guys what that one is but if we do manage to find that one then i think it would be pretty crazy because that one i don't know it's always been my favorite but um keep your eyes peeled in fact like i said i would love for it to be nighttime but i just don't have the command so we're going to continue and i'm going to see if i can see anything weird any villages any villages any random structures the last video i did there were so many weird things going on I literally had to stop playing the game but um this is a nice little bend in the creek i don't know guys i can't see too much maybe upon editing i may see something back but as for now i don't really see too much going back here so i'm not sure guys um i don't know guys i can't really see anything here i am trying my hardest to see if i can find anything but maybe just minecraft alpha i mean sheep are spawning in animals are spawning in rapidly 
I think that is just how the wo oh whoa 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 okay ladies and gentlemen this is the first what the oh my god okay so you guys can see this cross right here okay but from a distance it does actually look like a real cross but it seems that the block is destroyed this is weird this is actually really weird because this is supposed to be here but for whatever reason the water has just stopped now I played Minecraft for a very long time and I don't remember this being a thing where water spawns in and doesn't flow down uh do we want to check the water and see what's going on here just see I mean, you guys can try the Entity 303 Seed yourself uh, on this version. It's, I think, the last alpha version of Minecraft or the last beta version. Does the water work? The water does work. So if the water does work, then what is going on over there next to that cross? That is super weird. Maybe there is something with these Minecraft legends. I don't know. I mean, the worst thing about this is that Entity 303 was said to do glitches in your game. So, I mean, if he is doing glitches in the game, then this is exactly what I would expect. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything else. This is exactly what I would expect from Entity 303. So I need to be super duper careful here because if he is in this area, then it means that this is a highly glitched area. Now, I don't know how to check my coordinates, but on the Entity 303 seed, I am, you can see my coordinates on screen now. So if you want those, take those and try it yourself. But yeah, I remember there used to be these weird bits down here. Okay, so it seems that Entity 03 may have been located here, may have dug out this portion of the world, may have done some other weird stuff. I honestly don't even know. This is the most interesting thing. And I think as well, like maybe hidden messages are encoded in the Minecraft world. I mean, we have like some kind of pool right there and we can see that either side there are hills. Maybe there's something down inside that pool. I mean, it looks too perfect. Let's go down there. Are there any potions? Oh, there's no potions on this version. I was hoping for a night vision potion. But, uh, okay, there's nothing down here, but definitely way too perfect for random. Like, look at how random and ugly these are, and this one's perfect. So, that's why I'm a bit, I'm a bit scared. But we are going to try summoning him, because this does look like a summoning area. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use some iron. Then, I'm going to use some netherrack. Then, I'm going to get myself some redstone and some flint and steel. Now, this is the old school Minecraft, which means we have to do this by hand. Okay, now, apparently, this is how you do it. I'm not sure... So don't quote me on this, but apparently it's just similar to Herobrine. And then apparently it's just similar. So then that, 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 there we go. So apparently there we go, guys. And I think I've done it at the right spot. So I'm going to go ahead and come back to that. And if there's anything changed, you guys let me know. Okay, so I'm still flying around, still looking for anything weird, anything strange. I don't know, guys. In a minute, I'm going to go back to the spawner to see if there's anything there. Anything left by the minecraft gods i wish there was a faster way to travel though but this is as fast as it gets and yeah i don't think i see anything strange here at all so not too worried about this not too worried i mean hmm apart from this i don't think there's much on the entity 303 world i mean maybe this is like an arrow telling me to go this way but maybe there is something i don't know guys what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and explore the other person slash the other world. And the other world is vastly more interesting. So let's go ahead and explore that. Okay, so I don't even know which version this is. Apparently, it's a really old version, but this is going to be the null version. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and type in null. Okay, I don't know what version this is but like minecraft looks super weird but at the same time the frame rate looks super smooth i think of the last versions what i accidentally did was i think i messed up my frame rate i think for some reason i had the frame rate thing capped and this version just seems so smooth on my eyes it's literally hurting my head but yeah so this is the null one and null is a bit of a weird one because there's not that much information on Null on the internet. But I do know that Null was essentially on a very, very old version of Minecraft. And the thing with Null is, is that Null is actually a glitch that happens on many different computers. Like, it's not just a Minecraft thing. If you search in Null computer bug, Null is actually a computer bug in many different computers. So they never name anything Null because it just, it just glitches out absolutely everything. So... A character performing glitches under the name Null is 100% completely possible and plausible within Minecraft. So, um, okay, we're just looking around and seeing if I can find absolutely anything strange or anything weird. But this is still a very old version of Minecraft, so we do not have all the tools necessary to do absolutely everything now for the null summoning circle i'm not exactly sure how to build it i think there are a couple of ways but i will try my hardest to do so so i do have some of the materials and i can't find anything i can only find this a bit weird i mean like what is this is this a cave is this like a i don't know but i can't find too much weird about this seed just yet so 
if I do try the summoning thing, hopefully this does work, but I guess we're going to have to see. So I'm going to go over to this area and I'm going to see exactly what's going on because I'm not entirely sure what's going What? What the? Okay, for a second, I thought I saw something. Okay, so I don't know if we build a cross exactly, but looking at an old tutorial and wow, this is super weird. The blocks of gold even look so weird. Okay, so let's go to a nice clear area. Then apparently what we need to do is we need to just place three blocks of gold, then another three blocks of gold a jukebox a jukebox a gold block then dig all the way around this dig all the way around like this not like i'm doing it do it properly and then this pig is gonna die unfortunately and he's ruined this entire build and then just place a lava like this just keep placing the lava okay there we go pig's dead uh yeah that's a warning for you buddy um and then apparently we need to place a block here and then we need to place a block here and here. And then we need to light this apparently. No, 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 no. Part of it does say you do need a head. But the thing is, I don't actually have that in this version of Minecraft. So we're just going to go ahead. In fact, I think the bottom might be netherrack. Is it? I don't know, guys. I'm just waiting patiently to see if there's absolutely anything nearby. Because anything that is here is quite scary. I did see another way that you can do this though. I'm going to try both of them. But yeah, I'm not sure, guys, if Null is going to be here or not. There was another way to spawn Null. It was like this. You do one here, one block here, one, one he here, here, and then another one here like that. And then I think you just wait or you put a redstone torch on it. So yeah, I don't know, guys. I think maybe we're not having any luck with Null. Okay, so I've got one last trick up my sleeve. And that was essentially going on survival mode. Now, I don't know if this is going to help at all, but... I don't know, rumors, stories. I mean, most of the stories that we hear, it's always like, you know, the stuff is always on survival mode. So I'm just trying to think that maybe, just maybe, survival mode might be the one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it like around 10 more minutes or so. And then maybe like if I can figure out exactly what's going on, then I can see, you know, exactly where we need to go with this. So yeah, right now I'm just looking for anything weird. I don't know. I can't really see much weird, but if I'm like looking around... <laughs> I think what I usually have to do is like stare at a particular area, maybe. I don't know. It's it's just, it's not really making any sense. I mean, I've been on this world for like, not that long, actually. I probably should leave it to nighttime. But then again, we did see them on daytime. So, I mean, if you guys do want to leave your theories and stuff down below, that would be greatly appreciated.